Hello everybody, my name is Andy and I'm the Krabby Gamer and today we're going to be starting with Cave Story. Uh, it's a pretty good game, it's like, a, it's like an RPG slash... Uh, uh, sorry about the mic, I was getting situated. It's like an RPG slash platformer. Uh, it was released a long time ago, but they uh, did a special edition. So this is Cave Story Plus. And they also... Uh, there's my practice file. Uh, they also released it on the uh, DS. So let us start this story with someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting IM chat. Sue, are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please. And now we here we have quote our character A is the jump and the controls. If you press down, he looks at something. Press up, he looks up. Standard fare, really. Here's a save point. Just look at it and press down, and it'll save. Health station, so it refills your life. And just now we just go through the door. Do not touch the spikes. They are death. Just like that. Yes, I'm gonna retry. <sighs> Great start. I don't know what it is, but I just have the worst luck with platformers. Uh, life capsules here, so... These give you three life for every one you get, and you can have a maximum of 50 life. Well, I think there's, I think there's a couple that give you five life, but... It all adds up to 50 eventually. Um, gotta get out of the water and jump from up here. Got, that's a jump from over here. There we go. Jump over. And go into the Panthasua. And let's talk to you. Apparently he sounds like a bee. Go to the chest and we get the Polar Star, our first weapon. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Sue! Answer me! They're looking for you! Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. Alright, now that we have a weapon, we can press B to fire. And this old guy doesn't care that we're stealing. So, let's go. Now we can finally take get rid of those stupid bats and the little puffball here. Uh, the little triangles give you like give your weapon experience. Uh, the weapon has three st different stages, uh, and by, when you up get to the second next stage, it just it upgrades your weapon. So you can get to th stage three and max, which is the best weapon weapon can get. Though if you get hit by an enemy, you automatically go back down to, or you lose some of your experience. I don't touch. No, close. I'm gonna save because I've had some problems in the past where I die and have to start the entire level over again. I'm gonna avoid that this time. Go up here. Now we can finally get through here by destroying these blocks. And right here, we see we have level two weapon now. So the shot goes farther and it does more damage. And if you see right there, the door is a monster, so we can go ahead and shoot it now. Can't tell you how many times I forgot that was there. Come on, Sue. Type something, will ya? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that, that I even ate a cockroach. Well, just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Yeah, uh, Mimiga Village. Give me that key. No way. Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? <coughs> oh shit, that hurts my throat. She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toroko. The next time that the doctor shows up, someone with us will be taken away. If Sue wasn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but, just hand over the key. What? Ah, oh, run away. 
Do do. Uh, let's talk to him. Dot dot dot. What? You're not an enemy. God lord, this hurts my voice so bad, but I, I will push through and remember next time to have some water. I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I am the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Well, really. Including Sue, it's seven. But she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came to our village. Well, screw you too for not saying hello. How are you? And we go in here. And we fire out the reservoir. What do you have to say, little bunny? Sue? Yeah, Sue. That cute girl was always hiding inside Arthur's house. She recently came to Mamiga Village. She fell into the reservoir of Ale. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimiga too. Same as the rest of us. I don't know why he was Irish, just, just roll with it. Something shines brightly. And we have the silver locket. Do 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 do. Yeah, well. Die, fish! And. Wow! Don't you run from me. Hand over the key! No! And instant pwn. Ah! Toroko! Don't underestimate me! Sorry for that. Yeah, don't underestimate him. He's gonna do so much from lying on the ground. Before I go here, I'm gonna go to the save room right here. Yes, I would like to save. And I'm bam 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 bam. I think I can get yes I can get it up here. Good. And we have the map system. Um, kind of useful. So as long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find a way out. This is my hope. Uh, press the... While well, I'm using the Xbox controller, you just press the right bumper to get there. I don't know if it... I don't know what the controls are for the keyboard. Into the shack, and... You jerk! Oh, crap! Oh, I, I took damage. Damn it. And let's talk to the little runt. Wah. Oh, help me, help me! Hmm? What? You're not the one... You're not the doctor? Ooh, sorry about that. The doctor's such a cruel and evil person. I cannot do a little voice. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mimiga. At times, even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my old brother. Ah, that pendant! You picked it up for me? So give it to me! But I don't want it anymore. King gets being out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. What? Oh shit. Oh yeah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me. I got the nose of a clever harrier. Indeed. I can't do girl voices, so she's gonna have to stay with man. Yes. Yes. He has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery. I found her first. You too. You're with the doctor! You must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. I don't know, Bubble of Doom. Why? Wow. Well, wrong. The rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! Not this again. I always have to clean it up. And I'm the one who found her, not Misery. So what's up? You wanna fight me with that little pea shooter you have there? Well, of course. Ah, uh, level 2 weapon, he just goes down so easily. I'll remember. I'll remember this. Superman! Out of this world! Now we have defeated the Balrog. Yay! I got a tip. You 
You just gotta love the music for this. I'm gonna go and save and heal up real quick. And now we can go this way. Well, let's see what he is. Uh, assembly Hall. Hmm. Arthur's house key. There should be there should be at least one more copy somewhere. Toroko. She feigns ignorance. I wonder, maybe Jack would know something. I don't know Jack shit. Uh, who are you? Mika Cemetery, currently closed due to hazards. What did you say? Toroko's been kidnapped. That's terrible. We have to inform King. Well, have fun with that. Uh, I'm just gonna sneak on in here. Kill that bastard. Yeah, you don't get anything from these little puffballs. It's a shame. And yeah, we can't get up there yet. And we go over here to the glittery bit and look down. Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rest the true Mimika hero, Arthur. And now we have his key. Kill that puffball. Everything must die. And let's see what he has to say. Not Toroko too. Toroko's older brother. Arthur was our strongest Mimiga. I, I guess this was it. But he was killed by the doctor himself. He wasn't even able to protect Toroko. There are two keys to Arthur's house. Toroko has one of them. The other is inside Mimiga's cemetery. Arthur's house is down over here. He uses his key and then go into his room. And well, I guess we can save right now. Uh, let's see what we can look at. And resting just does the same thing as healing you. Let's see what the computer says. Text is displayed on screen. Cause I'm... Well, just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Allow teleportation to headquarter? Eh, well, sure, why not. Headquarter now accessible via teleport. Hmm. Well, yes, this has to be it. It's a teleporter. Uh, headquarter, let's go. Yes. Yeah. And our mighty foe is the elephants. Let's go up here. What do you have to say? Hiding behind the... Watch out for that little white thing moving back and forth down below. Its touch is as deadly as it gets. Uh, but I really want that. Go, 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 go. Please don't die. Uh, yes, got it. Yeah, that white thing is an instant kill. You can do nothing against it. I'm Juggernaut. Run, 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 get away, get away. Safe. Explodey bits. Ah, now we're level three. My gun is so powerful. I... Damn it. It didn't last long at all. And now, as you can see, our weapon is back, so now we don't really have to worry about taking that one hit that much, because it won't take, take away that much of our experience. But... What the f... 
That is one creepy looking dude. This is another girl. I can't do girls. There you are, you monster. You don't scare me. <laughs> what? You want some of this? Take your best shot. Even my big brother has never beaten me. <laughs> Ouch! You got me. Sorry, I'm sorry. Pow! Right in the kisser. Who, huh? Who are you? Back! Mm -mm. That face just looks creepier than hell. Uh, no, I can't get to it though. Look, a save room. Let's go. What do you have to say, old man? Creepy. This is highly unusual. You're a soldier from the surface, are you not? Hell if I know. I just started playing with him. Where's your blonde pal? What? Amnesia? Lazy game developers. Let's see, going up here. Ah. Damn it. It's gonna take tricky platforming. Cthulhu's abode. I don't really why it's Cthulhu is a bold. There's nothing really. God! The third time's a charm, I guess. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. This jump is not hard. And now we have our third life capsule. Moving on up. 13 out of 50. Well, uh, I think now is be a good time to stop. Since we're right beside a save point. So, in the next video, we're going to continue following whoever that girl was. Wait, did I say her name? I think I did. Sue. Well, anyway, that's Sue. So we're going to save her, and then find out what the else to do. So, this has been another episode of Cape... Er, this has been the first episode of Cave Story Plus. And, my na if you like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends. My name is Andy, and I'm the Krabby Gamer. Have a good day.